Listen to this. Is oral sex okay in marriage? I want to say categorically, it's a big no. And I want to give you the reason. Number one, there are about over 100 strains We have over a hundred strains of something we call human papilloma virus, HPV. Listen to this, it's so powerful. We have over a hundred strains, types of human papilloma virus. And among the hundred of a hundred uh, strains of HPV, only 15 are causes cancer. And anytime you hear that a woman has cancer of the cervix, it is caused by this virus called human papilloma virus. How do you get human papilloma virus? Every person who is sexually active in your walk of sexuality, you, you, you can get this virus because it is sexually transmitted. So this is what happens. Anytime you suck the vagina of a woman and a, man suck, and a woman sucks the penis of a man, you are removing the human papilloma virus from its environment and taking it to your mouth. So what does it do? Anytime you remove a virus, or if you remove a virus, a bacteria, from where it's positioned, it can cause infection. So what is happening? That's why we have a high rise of mouth cancer and tongue cancer today. Or, or orophageal cancer has become very common in Kenya. Because of oral sex. So, I mulambes na wamunyonyes is a wildly pattern. It is true you are going to enjoy, but you are opening a door that will cause you not to enjoy to a tour until when you are 120, according to Genesis 6, verse 3. Because the days of a man should be 120. I came to bring knowledge. And that's why we said science can interpret God's intention. And that's why from Genesis to Malachi, Matthew to Revelation, there is nowhere God talks about a husband and a wife having oral sex. Blow job. We, have, we took that from the pattern of the world and from pornographic materials. We are now practicing it in our, in our marriages. And that's where the devil is timing us. You have to be very purposeful. God knew very well, the originator of sex, he knew very well that a vagina and a penis is well to go. And there is no greater orgasm when you reach with oral sex than what you can get from a, from a vagina and a penis. Kindly brethren, help me to preach this. There is danger anytime you suck the penis of your husband and there is danger when you suck the vagina of a woman. It is not the only cause. It is not the only cause of throat cancer and oral cancer and tongue cancer, especially at the base of the tongue. There are other causes, but one it's one of it. Because alcoholism also causes cancer. Are you aware of that? Alcohol is one of the causes of cancer. Smoking is also another cause of cancer. Medication can also be a cause of cancer. So it's one of it. So wamunyonis. It is a worldly pattern and kindly I beseech you by the masses of the Lord. Don't go that way. The devil could time you that. The Bible says in the book of um, Jeremiah 4, 22. I want to connect that with, with the word of God. My people are destroyed. Not because the devil is powerful. We don't have knowledge. Can you, can you put New, New King James Version? New King James, N, NKJV. <clears throat> the same verse. The same verse, sweetheart. The same verse, Jeremiah 4.22. The one you had put, but put it in New King James Version. Uh -huh. New, you new, new. New King James or KJV. Put it new, New King James Version. New King James Version, kindly. Have you
you been blessed? Yes. Wow. Knowledge makes you dependently dangerous. Hmm? Who has New King James Version? Can we have someone? Eh? Jeremiah 4.22. New King James Version. Version. Another, another one apart from that? What do you have? The Bible says, <clears throat> the same verse, you can just put it. <laughs> My people, these are saved this. These are the born again. These are the people in the church. We now. My people are foolish. Who is saying that? God. We have become what? Fools. And why are we being fooled? By the world pattern. The internet has fooled us. They have not known me. We don't know what God stands for and what God does not stand for. The Bible says they are sele. Sele. Mine is saying sele. Anybody who is having sele? Sele, sele, sele. Hey, can you imagine God calling us sele? Sele. I wish you can get that. Who has that? Hey, Brooke, you have it. They are sele children. Sele. Hmm. They have no understanding. But they are wise to do evil. But to do good, they hate. They have no knowledge. This is serious. This is God rebuking us tonight. My people are fools. They do not know me. They are silly. They are senseless. They are Scottish children. They have no understanding. They are skilled in doing evil. But they know, but they know not how to do good. The word of God. Everything we need for sex is in the word. And that's why you have to become a woman of the word. Not in the head. In your heart. And in your character. In your speech. So, even, how does it look? It looks funny. Well, you don't see. Are you aware? A man is a man. Is permitted to kneel down only in two places. A man, wanaume, kamili. Number one, when he's worshiping God, a man is permitted to kneel. Number two, when having sex, not any other place. Ukuto na mungu meinama uko chini. Utasema ni nini unafanya. Only two places a man is supposed to kneel. Mwana usikubali kuina. Atiwi, na uku, haa, kwanza niya the enas, no. No. And it's the same human papilloma virus that is causing anal cancer, that is causing penis cancer. That human papilloma virus is a very bad uh, virus. Uh -huh. Thank you. Have I, have I helped you? Ata ukiwa na patina moja. Yes. Na ni part of four play. Yes. Iwachwe kabisa. Hapa na tumia ni miko. Si mume, umeona mungu wa mesema tutumia miko no? Si mumeona? Excuse me. Turikuwa pa moja. Mungu amesema tutumie nini? Na kama wewe ni mtu wa 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 you are a mechanic unafanyanga kazi ngumu utafute ka brush utafute ka brush praise the lord na kuna mwanaume anastahili kuwa na kuchwa na kucha kucha kubwa atekenero kikubwa on the right hand hapana use your right hand and make sure that you 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 make sure that uh, your hands are soft and you can use KY jelly KY jelly is very good to soften up. Praise the Lord. Now, see to me, mate. Where, where? Where, where? Uki to me, mate. Uki to me, mate. What you are removing, there is the normal, the normal, the normal germs that protect the mouth is a fungi. So when you remove the saliva and take you, we hamishe, we peleke kwa vagina, mukewako atanza kutoa discharge na ka maziwa mala. You see now, you have brought sickness. And that's why it's very important for people to have foreplay. Kiss your wife. Start from the top. Are you aware, men, we are very sensitive in our heads. We are very sensitive at the ear. We are very sensitive at the neck. Come and unyonye kidogo. Especially kama mama memariza kunini. What are these breasts for? Siniza munene. Siziko kwa songs of Solomon. Kwanye musomangi baibo. Yeah. Men, are you aware? We are very sensitive at dinner, dinner, hapa. 
We are learning. Yes, you get that. Women are very sensitive. In fact, if you want to wake up your wife, akiwa amengorota kabisa, pereka joystick hapo, anza kumugusagusha tu hivi. Utaona tatan. We are very sensitive behind. Hapa tu unagusa tu kienda hivi, ki plan plan. Ukiona amelala sana na anataki kuamka, usitumie mkono, tumia rafiki yake. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amutaki kusifu Yesu. Ah, eh. 